I also have with me uh, Mr. Sashidar Reddy, uh, former Vice Chairman of NDA. May so thank you so much for uh, joining us as well on this conversation. Uh, what, according to you, right now is the priority in terms of those families who will be who will have to be informed of those who are injured in hospitals as well as uh, in terms of those who are dead. Finding those families, informing them. How, how does this play out there on the ground at the moment? Uh, how many hours before the families receive the bodies and uh, the victims reach uh, their, I mean, the other stranded passengers reach their destination, sir? Well, I think uh, the Honorable Railways Minister was uh, very clear when he said that the first priority should be rescue and relief. Uh, quite a bit uh, has been done. I think some more needs to be done before uh, um, you know, the rescue work would be completed. The relief, medical attention, and uh, tracing uh, the uh, people and, and reaching out to their families is also uh, a challenge. But uh, uh, given the, the robust system that uh, the railways has, and uh, these days um, it should not be difficult with the kind of uh, communication that we have to reach the uh, you know, in every nook and corner. Uh, in addition to the medical uh, treatment and the facilities that are being um, offered now, I think what is also required is a, a psychosocial support to the families of the bereaved and also to the survivors. In disaster management, uh, this has become uh, kind of a standard uh, procedure. Mm. Uh, I recall that when there was an Air India uh, plane crash at uh, Mangalore Airport uh, about 15 years back, uh, we saw this unfolding in a big way. The survivors um, and the families of the deceased had to be um, uh, given this. We have uh, that capability. We have NIMHANS in uh, Bangalore and uh, yeah. several organizations, and this is also something that the government... Talking of PTSD and also dealing with the emotional trauma that most of those uh, families will be going through is even even those amongst, you know, uh, the rescue workers and relief workers there will be going through enormous Very trauma there. Uh, uh, Sashidar Reddy, former vice chairman of NDMA, he's been with us uh, for the last half hour or so. Mr. Reddy, how do we do... Is there a difference in the way air passengers and you know, in a tragedy of this nature, how they are reached out to, families are reached out to. Is there enough being done for, in a rail accident of this nature, in terms of reaching out to the families, consoling them, dealing with the emotional trauma and handing over the bodies, and in the case of injured, giving them support over the next few 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 days? Well, I think uh, the basic difference uh, between air travel and uh, travel by train, and particularly for the unreserved compartment is where the lack of details, as you had mentioned earlier. Um, but, uh, the, you know, there needs to be uh, something uh, thought of uh, to establish the identity, you know, when people enter these compartments, as it was pointed out earlier uh, by fellow panelists, that uh, there should be a system of people, uh, when they travel in these unreserved compartments, they should be able to um, you know, register themselves or make their um, uh, the information uh, about uh, themselves available in an unlikely situation. I mean, this is a very rare um, thing that, uh, you know, to be involved in an accident of this nature. Uh, but all the same, uh, a, a, a protocol can be put in place so that, uh, uh, you know, and and I generally I believe that uh, every disasters, be it natural or um, you know man-made disasters, they are all very very unfortunate. But I think every disaster should be taken as an opportunity right. mm -hmm. to ensure that you know if a thing like this, how to prevent uh, such things from happening. Now the inquiry will tell us what exactly went wrong right. and how to prevent mm -hmm. such things in future. And then also. Uh, how to reduce the suffering and then what are the lessons learned from this disaster, from this uh, uh, accident so that uh, similar things can be handled in a in a much better manner. Uh, right. There's also uh, a point raised uh, earlier today 
uh, when I was on some other local channel as to how the railway um, safety, how the, how the railway rescue system needs to be uh, be in place. The the problem there is that you know whatever equipment they have will only be brought by uh, uh, on the rail uh, by on the railway lines. And uh, if a track is damaged, and uh, today I believe one um, uh, okay one, okay. Uh, right, that's, all, yeah, that uh, needs to be looked at. Important points that you're raising there. Thanks so much, uh, Mr.